there quilty friends, it's Carolina Moore, your favorite sewing and quilting YouTuber, and I'm so excited because today I get to share with you the 2024 Block of the Month calendar quilt. You ready? Let's get started. So those of you who've been following along know about the 2023 block of the month quilt that we've been working our way through. We've been doing a block every single month for 12 months. Uh, the last blocks will be November and December obviously and then we'll have a video on putting it all together because this block of the month I'm doing with you on video a block every single month but it's also a calendar. So I have the 2023 calendar to show you and here it is. So it is a calendar that was printed on paper that you could actually write on. So this isn't glossy. You could use a pencil. You could use a regular ballpoint pen. You didn't need a felt tip pen to be able to write in these spaces and use this calendar. And then every single month there was a pretty photo of the quilt block as well as instructions for making the quilt block. And then for fun, I added in holidays. Instead of putting in traditional holidays, Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's, Hanukkah, 4th of July, any of the traditional holidays that we're used to, I found nonsense holidays that are designed for quilters. So for example, this is March. Of course, I had to say that March is National Quilt Month. Um, of course, National Quilting Day on Saturday, March 18th of this year, and March 20th is the International Day of Happiness. So these are all really important dates that quilters should absolutely celebrate in our quilting and having a good time. This year, I made sure to add even more holidays in here because there were a couple months that were a little barren of fun quirky holidays so I found even more quirky holidays to add into the calendar um, and I did only holidays that are good for quilters and I added in a couple chocolate themed holidays because I feel like that's quilty adjacent. So the calendar will look just like this again this year, of course, with the 2024 quilt on the front because I'm having to record this video a week ahead of the launch because of all the other things going on. The calendars are not here yet, but stay tuned and make sure that you're on my email list so that you see the photos of those when they come in. The cover this year will be glossy, so just the cover will be glossy, but the inside will still be this paper that you can write on so that you can actually use it as a functional calendar if you want, but then you can also keep it for years to come because it still has the full pattern for every single block. And then at the end, there are, let me get to the end, there we go, our finishing instructions for putting the entire quilt together. There are fabric requirements for the quilt. I will go ahead and put those in the description as well so that you have those if you already want to pick out your fabrics. There are also a limited number of kits available if you'd like to make your quilt in the exact same colors that I did. That's totally an option. Go down to the description and you'll find the link to the fabric kits if you'd like to make it in this colorway. All right, so let me show you this quilt. I had so much fun making this. Ta-da! Fun, right? I'm so excited about this quilt. So I picked all of the colors for the quilt based on this border fabric here, and I just thought that was super fun. So let me put the quilt out so we can see it a little better. We can actually talk while we're looking at this quilt. So again, it is 12 blocks. They're going to be set the same way. The quilt will be the exact same finish size as last year, which is about 60 by 75 once it's all finished and bound. And I did some free motion quilting on this one. You can send it to your long armor, you can quilt it yourself. Last year I did really light quilting on the quilt and this year I chose much more dense quilting. Really fun. Last year I used a rainbow variegated thread. This year I also used a rainbow variegated thread. I didn't even realize that I did that with both quilts, but totally different quilting look on these. So this is 
the quilt with the 12 blocks. All this information will also be up on the blog and it'll be in the shop so that you can join in this year. But this is just such a fun calendar. If you decide to make all 12 blocks, fabulous. It's going to be so much fun to make them together. If you decide, well, I don't know that another project is it for me. It's a really pretty calendar that shows off your love of quilting all year long. So it changes out all those fun blocks all year long so you can still have quilty. It's a great calendar for in your sewing room. Last year's quilt was a four patch block of the month. So every single block was based on a four patch. This year, all of the blocks are based on nine patches. So you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I think that these ones were even easier to put together than last year. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I love how this quilt turned out and I hope that you'll join us for the 2024 nine patch block of the month get your calendar. Links are all down below with all the details. Friends, that's it for today. Make sure you've given this video a thumbs up to let YouTube know that you love quilty videos and you want to see more of them. Subscribe this channel so that you get all of my fun quilting videos right when they come up and leave your questions and comments below. I do look for those and I want to get you your answers ASAP. So go ahead and leave your questions in the comments. Friends, that's it for today. I will see you right here real soon. Bye for now.